You just gotta be like, hey y'all, I'm here to deliver the dream. Oh, wow. The dream has been delivered. The dream has been delivered. Um, we spent the morning talking to Shrammers about how to install this stuff because it's totally different than normal. We're recording this before launch of the product, so we had to get some help with the measurements. The way that you install this chain is um, very, very specific to your bike, and you have to cut it exactly right for the, the size of your frame and how long your chain stay is. Because the app isn't live yet, we had to call SRAM and they uh, figured it out for us, so we should be good to go. We're going to trust them. If, um, if they're wrong, then we just don't get to finish the job. The reason why I say if, we, if they're wrong, we don't get to finish the job is because the new master links are legit non-reusable, um, is what they told me. And I know they've said that for like a bunch of years that these master links aren't reusable, but this one I guess is super not reusable. So we only get one shot at installing the chain. So yeah, let's do the thing that's the easiest. This just works like normal. Got my tool here. Yeah, nothing about this has changed too bad about the install. It's kind of the exact same thing that it always has been started on. Done. Sweet. So yeah, that's the new cassette. One thing I want to point out about this cassette is, do you see this red? plastic piece on the inside here. That piece is really, really important for installation purposes. That's going to be how we uh, measure the chain. So you put move the derailleur to be in line with that cog prior to putting the chain on. There you go. The next thing you got to do here is bolt the derailleur on. Um, one thing that we've already pre-installed is the plastic washer that goes into the carbon. The reason I don't want to take it back out of the bike is because I actually had to file my frame down a little bit. Um, there's just a little bit of extra paint there that um, Allied also confirmed that it's okay for me to just file the paint down until it fit. So with that red sleeve installed, just kind of like put it on there and then this piece goes in. And see, like it's already easier than it was earlier. So it's an eight millimeter. Ah! And like I said, mine's a little tight, so I'm kind of giving it a little bit of force here. There we go. See, so yeah, it, it's already been way easier. I'm glad we did that pre-test install just to like see how it works. What Keely, our SRAM rep, instructed us to do is to tighten it down, snug, and then back it off a full turn to where it's loose um, and can like move around like this. I'm so glad that worked because I was actually kind of worried. It was very, very hard to get it on the first time, not going to lie. Um, but that's why we have SRAM to help us. Okay. So I want to show this off without the wheel. So the axle now bolts into the derailleur. This drivetrain is obviously only compatible with a frame that is uh, got a UDH hole on it. Pull the derailleur down. It's still got in wheel install mode, which is up here with the lock. Do you see, mm -hmm. this will come into play soon. Um, I also want to talk about this A and B. So A and B is going to be dependent on what bike you have. My Allied BC40 is a B bike, so we put it in B. Again, the Axis app will tell you what you need to do, but we had to call Strand because it was before launch of that new update. Get that on there and push the axle through. Losers. And then the same thing on this side. So you want to tighten it down all the way and then back it off the full 360. You should probably just put the crank on, right? Mm. Nothing about the crank is very different in terms of like installation. Yeah. One thing I think that is just, they nailed is the aesthetic of this. I think it just looks amazing. Cooler when you have Trey do it.
Get your in here. He said no. <laughs> I wanted to show off is I love this new design here. So uh, it's a T25 bolt, and it just clamps both of these circles down. Like, I just think that's a really good design. So as you tighten it, you can kind of just, like, put it wherever. And then uh, as you tighten it down, it clamps both parts of it. So you can kind of just move it around like that. I, I think the ergonomics on this is going to be good. I don't know for sure yet because I haven't really tested it, but it looks good. Oops. And the reason it has these red tape pieces is that you can uh, replace these, and once you decide which ones you like, you pull it out. I haven't, I don't know yet, so I'm gonna wait. Dang, we're we're about to put the chain off. What was the length that he said that we needed? 118. So we need get this paper out, one-handed. So yeah, in the box, there's like a little chain cut. Yeah, so it comes with a guide. Okay, so you line up the end of the chain on this side at 126 and then Keely told us to cut it to 118 so it super important paper so you don't have to sit there counting a hundred and some links it feels important yep and so lines up 118 there so that's where you snip it super nervous situation the first transmission chain to be cut by me you can't do this wrong and now we're we're committed uh keely actually cut the chain in the wrong spot can you give me a new one he told us 118 i wrote it down okay so five clicks in, so make sure it's all the way out five clicks in one two three four five so you want the pulley wheels to be in line with the red and we do need to put this in what is called setup mode. So right now we're in whatever, take your wheel off mode. So <laughs> boom, now we're in setup mode. And that's right yeah, here. Now you can see that it's like more in line. Flat top boy. We should have we should have got like flat top haircuts for the video. Send it. All right, so we got the master links that are definitely not reusable according to SRAM. Permanent situation. I love when things are permanent though. So. What? Okay. Done. We can't change it. Do I tighten the axle or the derailleur first? Hey. Hey, Keely. Do we tighten the derailleur first or the axle first? Derailleur first, then axle. Yep. All right. <laughs> so we got um, a little bit of clarification. On, uh, and uh, one, one thing we've already talked about is the paint um, on my bike is a little bit thick, which is a good thing. And I don't know if you can get this on camera, but do you see how this piece does not move forward with my derailleur? Like, so it's supposed to. And so what I'm going to do is just, oh, whoops, grab it. And whoa, now we're perfect. Um, you want to line up these two lines right there there's a notch in the silver part and then there's a line there and you just want it to be lined up and then i'm going to go ahead and snug it down this derailleur is the first one that has come out of the factories obviously or one of the first ones and so there's a little weird thing going on mostly it's just like a misprint um this says 25 newton meters SRAM has assured me multiple times it was supposed to say 35 newton meters and it's definitely just a misprint on their end and they're going to fix it going forward but um we are going to be torquing it down to 35 newton meters one thing that they also are really really worried about is like you cannot do it wrong so like it's got to be right so that's 35 newton meters and then what was my axle do you remember you just looked it up oh i never actually looked it up the baby started crying i had to get her Oh no. You have to get a shot of the baby really quick. <laughs> Gentry. Woo. This has been a fun product launch, right, G? <laughs> cool, so I figured out what the torque spec for the axle is and like again, I know most people just put their axle on, but you can't do that anymore. You have to <laughs> torque it 
because that sets the amount of friction it needs. Um, it, what did he call it? It's like got like a crash mode. Oh, delivered man. the dream. We did deliver the, the dream. dream. Has been delivered. <laughs> <laughs> um, one other cool thing that we got to show off for the camera is the magic pulley that comes on the, the fancy group set. So this, this is the, I don't know if we ever said this, this is the XXSL group. Um, so check that out. That is called a magic pulley wheel. And so now you can, uh, slam into sticks and keep riding and it works just fine. That's so cool looking. So one thing about this group set that I kind of talked about in part one of this video um, is that it it shifts only when it's gonna it only shifts on the shift ramp. So going into the easier gears, it's pretty fast. Going into the harder gears, let me just press the button a bunch. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. One other thing I want to point out is SRAM did say that it's not going to shift super great in the stand because all of this measuring we did is accounting for the suspension of your bike, the size of your bike, and um, like the sag and everything. So it really is meant to be shifted while you're riding it. You can obviously shift it in the stand, but it's going to be way more smooth outside. And um, let me uh, put a grip on it. Let's go test it out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's test it. So I'm, I'm transmissioning for the first time right now. Yeah, it's it, like it's kind of freaky. Like I, it, like the bike almost rides itself or shifts itself in a weird way. Like you press the button and it waits like a second or two to shift. It's, it's definitely different. But once it shifts, it's like a perfect shift, which is really cool. It's a nice feeling. Get some shots of it in the sun. Fully installed SRAM transmission. Not too bad. Um, it's a little intimidating at first, I would say. But now that we got it all in there, um, it's all good to go. It looks amazing, too. I just think it looks really good. One thing to note is, like, if I were to change my chain ring size, that constitutes a new chain. So be aware of that. Um, the chain is very sensitive to changes in um, whatever. All the changes. changes, any change that's going to happen with the setup. Any change is going to happen with the setup. So yeah, this is a uh, one of my Allied BC40s, and I'm stoked to have the new uh, XX. This is the XXSL group. This is the top of the line uh, group set from SRAM right now. Uh, the new stuff that just came out. Transmission. The new transmission. <laughs> it's not a drivetrain; it's a transmission. That's what they told me. I have to say that. I don't actually. Well, let us know if you want a new transmission. Yeah, so we got, we got this stuff. Like, I don't I don't want to say in stock because I'm filming this before launch day, but we we should have this stuff. We have it on order currently. Well, it, they said that it should be here in time for launch day, at least some of it, um, but it might not be. So it'll be here close to launch day. We ordered like six or seven groups. Maybe I can't remember how many ordered. We ordered a lot. Around that. Yeah, so, um, and we can always get more um, from SRAM. We, we work really closely with them. and. I just want to give a huge shout out to them. This has been one of the coolest things that we've gotten to do uh, since owning the store. I mean, like just getting a pre-release drivetrain like this and getting to do all the fun hype videos. Let us know if you guys liked that kind of content. It's a little new for us to do um, some goofy stuff like that, but I, I thought it was really fun. Wrap it up. Gentry's done. Okay. Yeah. You My arm so hurts. Cool. Anyway, hit us up. Um, uh, thank you so much to SRAM. Um, check out the... Let us know if you want the new transmission. Um, it's pretty cool. I really like the shifter. So we'll see you all in the next one.